Hi friends, welcome back to Julie at Home. In this video, I will be sharing a few of my favorite picture books for Valentine's Day. I am a homeschool mom of four. My youngest is one and a half. He's sleeping on my back right now. And I love reading picture books to my kids. Some of these books are specific to Valentine's Day and others are just about love and kindness in our books that I'd like to pull out around Valentine's Day as well. The first is a favorite that we've had for a long time. This is called Plant a Kiss by Amy Krauss Rosenthal. It has been well loved and has been taped many times. It's, it's very simple and it's, it's about a child who plants a kiss and what happens when she plants that kiss. This would be easy enough for, I mean, little ones to read, uh, early readers kind of, but I just read it to them. The, um, you probably can't tell from there, but the sparkly stuff is actually textured, so it makes a fun tactile activity too. So, and this is, so we can trace all the swirly lines at the end. So yes, this is one of my absolute favorites and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. This one is actually new to us this year. This is Little Blue Trucks Valentine's. My current three-year-old and my one-year-old really love Little Blue Trucks. So um, we have a collection and I decided to get this one. Little Blue Truck is really sweet. Um, there's lots of farmyard friends. And almost all of them, if not all of them, include, you know, the animal sounds and such as well. So it's really good for that toddler, young preschooler set. This one has, um, it's like a tactile, I think they all might be the same, but the shininess of the Valentine's Day cards. Um, others have lift the flap and such. So I really like the Little Blue Truck series. That's Little Blue Truck's Valentine. Okay, this one is the Valentine Bears. And this is a story about uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bear, and they're usually hibernating for, it's a longer one, they're usually hibernating for Valentine's Day, but Mrs. Bear is determined to celebrate Valentine's Day this year, so she gets up and sets up this sweet, sweet thing for Mr. Bear, and there's kind of a surprise towards the end, but it's just a really sweet story, the Valentine's Bears. Now these ones are, aren't specific to Valentine's Day, but I think go very well with the theme of love and kindness. This is I Am Love, A Book of Compassion. This book itself is almost like a meditation. It's like what you can do um, when you see sadness. So, yes, I Am Love. And, th and that's by Susan Verde. So all these books will be linked below. Um, they may be affiliate links, so if you do click on them, it doesn't cost you anything more, but I might get a small commission. So if you do choose to do that, thank you. This is Be Kind by Pat Zeitlow Miller. And it's about a girl who, and she just, she starts being kind to people around her and she kind of sees how that can grow and how that can change people's like change the lives of the people around her and she starts really a movement of people being kind so it's not really specific to love but it's a good I thought it'd be a good fit for Valentine's Day because kindness is one great way to show love the last book in this video and this is love by Matt de la Pena and Lauren Long this is this one it has beautiful illustrations It's all the things that love is. And it's such a wide variety of things. And some of them are really kind of unexpected. So that is love. I don't always do something special for Valentine's Day, so just having a few books out that we can incorporate into our reading time is great. This year I actually might do a Valentine's Day tea. I'm feeling a little inspired just to make some probably hot chocolate, not tea, but some hot chocolate and some special treats and we'll sit around the table and uh, maybe read some books and poems then. But 
you can just keep it simple and go to the library and get a stack of books and just curl up on your chair or couch and have fun reading to your kids. Until next time, bye.